Is the controller scroller worth buying? Well, guys, this is the question that I'll be answering today. I actually just bought this thing here to test it out in a YouTube video. So today I'll be unboxing it, showing you guys how to get it set up, and of course, testing it out. All right, boys, so let's take a look at what actually comes in the package. So to start off, we have this one cord, and uh, this holds the scroll wheel itself. So this actually comes with two pieces. We have this bigger piece here and we have this piece here. This is the actual scroll wheel itself. So as you can see, I, I can scroll this and uh, I'm not too sure what this piece over here is, but we'll find out when we're setting it up. As you can see, I got purple and yellow. I actually picked these out for myself. So this is actually fully customizable. You can pick whatever colors you want. But yeah, let's move on to what the next thing in the package is. All right. So next up, we actually have this white cord here and I was actually able to customize this as well myself. So I just went with a simple clean white cord. Uh, I could have gotten yellow or purple, but I feel like that would have went overboard. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just how you set your controller up to your PC, but I guess we'll find out when we're setting it up. All right, and next we just have this bag with little pieces in it. I'm pretty sure this is just how you set it up. I'm not too sure what we're gonna need all of these pieces for. As you can see, there's a lot of pieces in here, but uh, yeah, we'll find out soon. All right, and then lastly, it just comes with a card. So as you can see, I got this from Plus Gear. If any of you guys wanna order this for yourself, here's all the links to all their socials. You can fully customize your own scroll wheel. So I highly recommend this. So yeah, boys, that is everything that comes in the package as you can see it's completely empty so uh yeah we got this one cord we got the two main pieces here uh we got a bag full of little parts and we got this little wire this little white cord so uh yeah let's get into setting this thing up all right so before we actually set this up to our controller i thought we should take a look at what actually comes in this little package here so as we saw there were a bunch of little pieces so uh let's dive a little bit deeper into that so to start off we actually have a cleaning wipe and this is going to be used to actually clean our controller so we can clamp this down onto our controller next we have like some sticky tape i'm really not too sure what this is going to be used for next we have this piece here and i'm pretty sure this is going to be used to place our scroll wheel in a place where we can't actually place it on the controller so for example if we didn't want to place it in a flat paste place we wanted to place it like back here we can use this piece to do that we'll go more in depth into this piece when we get into that process next up we have another piece of sticky tape this one's actually green and i'm not sure what this one's going to be used for but we will figure that out when we get there and then lastly at the bottom of the bag are just a bunch of these little pieces here and these are actually going to be used to clamp our wires together for cable management so this is actually going to be super useful so yeah there were five things that came in this little bag here we we got the wipes, we got a piece of sticky tape, we got this piece here to clamp the thing down onto our controller. Then we have this piece of green sticky tape and then a bunch of little clamps for cable management. So yeah, that's everything from this bag. So let's now move on to setting this thing up. All right guys, so now let's actually go ahead and put this on our controller. So what we're actually gonna do is remove this little piece of tape here and it sticks right onto the controller like this. I've actually been messing around with it for a little bit and I think I found the perfect spot for where I wanna put this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this little piece of tape on here so we can stick it onto the controller. All right, and as you guys can see, under that piece of tape is an actual sticky part on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna find the spot where I want it and then I'm just gonna push it right on in there. So I want it about right there. Actually, I figured out what this is used for. This green tape is actually used for like in case you want to move this so you can take it off and you have another sticky thing. So if I ever want to move this, I have this green sticky tape that I can reposition it with. All right, so yeah, back to this. I'm going to put this right here, I think. And I'm not going to push on the scroll wheel part. I'm going to push right here for 30 seconds. Just make sure it's nice and stuck in there. Make sure you do not push on the scroll wheel part because that can actually break off. Okay, so now that I push it down for 30 seconds, it's on there so well that I can actually pick the controller up by this little attachment. Um... Well, we're actually gonna put this back on now. All right, this time I'm actually gonna push a little bit harder. All right, guys, so I actually just had to put it on again and it did not stick once again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this sticky piece here and I'm gonna put on a brand new one. So thankfully it did come with extra sticky stuff. So hopefully this should work going back into it. All right, guys, so from the extra sticky stuff that they gave me, I cut out a little strip that fits perfectly right back onto this thing. So now I'm gonna put this right back onto here. All right, so now I put this back on and I actually realized what I did wrong last time. So this alcohol sheet that they gave us, I actually forgot to rub down my controller with it. So now I'm gonna open this up and actually rub my controller with it this time. So uh, this should work a little bit better. All right, and then after you wipe it with an alcohol, sheet you just want to dry it off so i don't actually have any towels with me so i'm just going to use my shirt i want to make sure it's completely dry here okay so now that we're back here i'm going to open this up and we're going to try and stick it back on once again hopefully this time it works all right this time i'm going to push for a minute and i'm going to hold it down hard so i pressed this down for a minute and now guys it is actually stuck on there so what we need to do now is actually plug this into our pc so what we're going to do is we're going to take this wire and plug it into here just like that and then this this here is gonna go into our PC. And then since I play a wired controller, now I can actually plug this right back into my controller. And then if you guys wanna get a little more organized, you can actually use these cable clips here to clip these two cords together. So what you do is you put one side onto this cord here, and then you put the other cord into this side. And now boom, these two cords are locked in. And I have four more of these, so I'm gonna put the rest of these on my wire. Okay, boom, so I got all five set up, so now you can see these cords are much more together and much more organized, so I really do like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and plug the last part into my PC, and I will catch you guys in the Fortnite lobby. All right guys, so now that we got this controller scroller set up, 
up, there's actually a few settings that we need to adjust. So what you're going to want to do is head into settings and then head over to the keyboard controls panel. And then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see the building menu, which is right here. Then what you're going to want to do is find building edit and then unselect that. And then also reset building edit and then also unselect that. And then you can click on your building edit and then bind that to whatever you want. So I'm going to bind that to scroll wheel down. And then you're going to want to use that exact same bind for reset building edit. So when I reset, it will be scroll wheel down. So right now, all I have is scroll wheel down activated. So I've been told that binding scroll wheel up to your weapon slot one, which is your shotgun is really good. So what you want to do is unbind your weapon slot one and then bind that to scroll wheel up. So when I scroll up, it should pull out my shotgun. So those are the only two settings you need to adjust. So now let's try this out, boys. So first off, let's just test if my shotgun does come out. Scroll wheel up and my shotgun does come out. Okay, that's actually really useful. So let's say I was in a box and I automatically need to go to my shotgun like this. Edit, shoot, and then I should be able to reset just by scrolling. Let's see if this works. That is crazy. All right, guys, to test out this scroll wheel, I made a bunch of edits here, and I'm going to see how fast I can reset them. Let's check this out. So I'm going to scroll wheel both sides and see how this goes. Boom, boom. Oh, this is crazy. Look at this. Boom, 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 boom. Just by scrolling. That's actually insane. All right, guys, now let's test out some single tile edits and see how fast I can do them. So it's just edit, reset, edit, reset. This is definitely going to take a little bit of practice, but I do already feel fast for just switching to it. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. One thing I have noticed, guys, is that I think I put my scroll wheel a little too close to my trigger right here. Because when I am building and making edits, like so say I'm building and placing walls, my finger accidentally touches this scroll wheel and it kind of throws me off. So if I was to redo this, I would put a little further. So thankfully, I do have some of this extra stuff so I can reposition this a little farther to the left. All right, boys, so now I'm going to free build for about five to ten minutes and give this scroll wheel a real chance. And by the end, I'll let you know my honest opinions about it. So yeah, let's get into this, boys. <laughs> thing I just noticed that's super useful about this scroll wheel attachment is these awkward wallets just like this. You guys know when like you're standing on a ramp and you can't re reach this wall? All you have to do is select your wall bind like this and then scroll and then it's reset. That's like the hardest thing for me and this makes it so easy. I just thought I'd point that out real quick. So overall this controller attachment is really cool. You guys saw how quickly I was able to get used to it, so I would imagine that after just a few days, I would have keyboard and mouse resets. If you guys would like to buy one of these for yourself, go ahead and click the link in my bio and use code Vizaloo at checkout for 10% off. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider using code Vizaloo in the Fortnite item shop as well. And of course, go ahead and drop me a sub, guys, because it's free and you can always unsub later. But with all that said, guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.